What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates in the financial markets. And today, we're going to look at XRP on the charts. And before we get into that, I want to say Happy New Year's and God bless you. We're blessed to see another year, blessed to see another day. And I just want to thank you guys for, you know, supporting this channel and showing me love and being here and, you know, just letting me be, uh, you know, an example, not just... Um, in the financial world, but also in the spirit world too. So I'm hoping that I could affect more lives this year and do bigger things because I got a lot of plans for this year. And uh, so this is gonna be part two of uh, plans when XRP moons. Um, before we get into that, I do want to give a scripture because uh, I just want to say I'm gambling on God this year. And it's not a gamble, it's a sure win because when you gamble, it's, it's uh, you have a chance to lose, but when you're gambling with God, gambling, it's already a sure win. Uh, I'm going to read you 1 John chapter 5 and 4. For whatsoever is born of God, when we're born again, overcometh the world, us. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So through our faith in Jesus Christ, the victory is given to us. So Hebrews 11 and 1 now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. So we're hoping for a new year and we and we haven't seen what's, what's uh, going to happen for us this year or what God's going to do for us. But we know that through him, we have victory already and that we are going to overcome through our faith. So that's why I'm, I'm gambling on God this year. And it's not really a gamble, it's a sure win. So that's what I wanted to say. Uh... One thing that I do want to, you know, do this year, because y'all said what I, uh, my plans for this year as well, and this is kind of before XRP moons, I want to take this channel to another level to where I have people, you know, working on, on working with me on my channel. So if you're interested in collabing with me and working with me, let me know because I think we could do some great things if you have good ideas and so we can press things and move forward. But, uh... You know the Bloomberg, right? I'm trying to be the next Bloomberg and do things big because it's one of those things where I want to just, you know, not just focus on, you know, financial things, but I want to focus on a bigger things outside that. So, you know, when I say bigger things, I'm talking about going out to the streets and out to the communities and helping people and just... You know, teaching them about not just Jesus Christ, but also about how my life been impacted through uh, my spiritual walk and also uh, getting to where I'm at now with the financial world. So I have a like I'm going to start sharing personal stories to help you guys as well. So I'm not just going to, you know, wait till XRP moves. I'm going to start doing stuff now. Why wait? When you can start making moves now, you know what I mean? So that's my message for you today. Uh, I want to give a shout out to, let's see, not sure if I said this name right, but bear with me because you also asked me a question too. Uh, Komani, <laughs> I don't know if I said that name right, but subscriber shout out goes to you, Komani. Uh, so you had asked me, you said, I'd like to know more about your way of doing your technical analysis. So, Komani, I thank you for even asking the question. Uh, I do I use Ichimoku system. It's a Japanese system of trading. It's not very known to Western the Western world of trading. You have to, you know, go to Japan or you have to go to somebody that's very well in depth in the art of trading Ichimoku or do some studying yourself online because there's some videos online that's out there, but they're not going to tell you the juice in the meat of how to trade Ichimoku the way I trade or uh, Japanese traders trade it. So that's one thing that uh, I, I just want to say, but I will be making content on that, how to trade it in the future. I do have some videos on my channel that you could check out and I'll put some links in the description so you can look at it. Um, another question I got it was by Martin Bravo. You said uh, projection of start of bull run. Uh, it's funny how people ask such questions. I can't predict the market, but I can get an idea of what the market's going to do by looking at data that's given to me on the charts. But if I'm going to go with a bias that I do have, 
I'm going to say between March and June is when we'll see our bull run and start to see some upward momentum. And we might start getting some upward momentum now, but I do think we're going to be bearish for a little bit. Then we're going to start going to be bullish by March and then take off in June. That's just my thoughts. Last question that I had by Chet, he's asked me, can you explain the clouds in your charts? What do they mean? How are they calculated? Thanks. So yes, I will be doing that more often in my videos if people don't understand. I do it a little bit, but I don't give the calculations of how it works. So I think by my next video, I want to do that and let you guys know how the Ichimoku system works. Because a lot of people have been asking me about the Ichimoku system and how it works and how you use it to even interpret the charts. So that's what I want to do. So yeah. <laughs> That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my talk with you. Uh, it's time to get to these charts and let you know what XRP is doing and where I think it's going. All right. Peace. So now we are looking at XRP and it's not doing anything new. It's just been ranging as I said it would. Uh, this was the day where I called it to come down. I said it will be coming back down to this level here. And it's already headed its way. And I said, if it breaks this box, which it has a really good chance of doing, it will be coming back down to 17 cents. Um, let's go down to the four hour time frame. This is gonna be pretty quick analysis, nothing really new. Like I said, I showed you here. If you watch my last video on XRP, um, yeah, I said, I said in here that we will get our downtrend and it actually started happening. So. If you did take the trade, this is probably where I closed my position because I said once it got here, you know, it was 4% gain. But once it got here, it's pretty much get out. But if I had kept coding, that would have been a 6% gain. So, you know, you can't hold them all, but I should have. I should have known better. Uh, so looking at it on the four-hour time frame, this between this purple here and this purple here, this is our range on the daily time frame, as you could tell. Um, this line here was a support, but it looks like we already broken through it. So price is coming down to at least this area here, um, if not right in this zone. So this is another zone that it would have right in here. So boom, this zone right here is where I also expect price to start coming to. Uh, looking at it on the four hour time frame of the R RCI. It's already showing that momentum's coming down. Uh, look, let's look at the daily real fast too. It's still underneath, so it is very bearish until it gets above negative 80 and negative 70. Nothing new there. Uh, price is just, it's just coming down. Trend's starting to come down. Uh, the hour is what I'm really concerned with because that's gonna show us what's gonna happen within this shorter time frame. So it's already on the underneath the negative 80 and 70 range on the hour time frame so that's what i'm very i'm paying very close attention to uh let's look at it here so price is already uh, diminishing and i'm expecting price to have some price action around this area so what's going to happen is if we can hold out at 18 cents in 474 if we could hold here price can come back to the upside so i'm not seeing that right now price is definitely moving lower it is moving low uh to the point where i think it's gonna make new lows for this this uh crypto asset um do i see it being bullish anytime soon yeah if if it can hold here let me go ahead and draw a circle here. If we could hold here and get some price action and hold, I wish I would check on the 15 minute, maybe 15, but if we could hold and get some price action here, yes, we could be bullish. But right now, RCI is telling us that it's a downtrend. Ichimoku is telling us that it's a downtrend. And everything else is telling us it's a downtrend. The thing I did like, because I did say on Twitter that I did like something that I did see, but that's dead right now. This is what I saw here. This was a dragonfly doji, but now looking at it, that is over with now. This is the trend is moving lower. If I was to take this trade, 
this is where I would want to get in and you know play it safe and you know play conservatively is right here at 20 cents breaking above this will put us back breaking this high that'll put us back to moving bullishly above uh you know on these charts but i don't see that price is dead here it's nothing going on with xrp that's saying that it's bullish the only thing that's bullish with xrp is the news that's coming out so i'm expecting price to move as low as uh 17 cents to 14 cents and then we'll come back and get buyers into the market at a supply area so i'm gonna mark it let's see where it's 14 at i'm gonna say 14 15 range and uh, zone this out for you guys right here so that's what i see right now i don't see nothing very you know there's nothing with Ichimoku, I mean, nothing that with, with XRP that is saying that it's going to move up to the upside. It's all bearish. <laughs> 15 minute bearish. Hour bearish. Three hour bearish. All of it is bearish. So I don't want to say this to, you know, discourage anybody because I still think it's going to be a long term investment that's going to be worth it. But right now, there's nothing bullish. So thank you guys for taking out the time to hear out this video. God bless you guys and stay tuned for the next, all right? Peace.